Hello everybody, and welcome back to some more Real Femenis. So last time, uh, some pretty, some pretty hardcore stuff went down, I mean like... Yeah, that, yeah. I guess it'll... Uh, okay, well, yeah. So I guess we're gonna just jump right in, because I have no idea, I, like, what happened last time, I completely forget. Alright. Oh, it's back here. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. How could you do this to me? I guess I finally see you for who you are. Oh. Oh, and then another guy grabbing. Okay. Oh, yeah, I remember that. We got really screwed there. And then we uh, killed Dom or something. We killed one of them. Yep, there you go. And then that one shot did it. Oh, yeah, and then she uh, broke her arm. Okay, he's... yeah. Now what the hell did that mean? Okay. Ooh. Well, he looks fine now. I don't know what... They heal pretty, pretty damn quickly. What? what? Oh, oh, okay. Um. What? Oh, okay. Yeah, I kind of figured that. Oh, oh. Everyone's covered in blood here. Oh, good God. Oh, good God. Oh, no. Oh, I don't want to do that. I still, <laughs> I still have the money. Oh. oh. At least I didn't have to do it myself. She just comes in and stares at him. Out of the woods. Well, it could be a better ass. And I need a special work, so 
Yeah, yeah. I don't even know what that is. Oh, oh, the pig's there. Hey, Don, how much long? Colin, leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Because I once watched the pig so a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, I'm not even supposed to be here right now. Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? I'm here to take care of my friend. Colin, shut the hell up, will you? Yeah. Good old doc. They look like teeth. Right. This isn't the habit you should keep to. Had him visit with me. And well, this time. How did he bandage me up so fast? This is a miracle, doctor. Killed a man. Uh, yeah, I'll keep I'll keep on her good side. Time to go kill uh, the other one. I, I so, forget who it was. I think I think it was dumb. How do you um, feel? Maybe. It's big be snow. It'll be okay. Uh, there you go. That's good. How do you think I feel? Like shit. It's exactly the two words I was I was gonna say. Exactly. I'm glad you're not dead. Exactly. I am too. have like a plan or something and who should I be asking should I be worried about the crooked man taking over or is Crane still the thing Crane is still in the focus I just mm. can't forget everything is done I don't care if he has problems with the crooked man Ichabod's gone it's over for him he's not coming back it's not about Crane anymore Big Boy. the crooked man came out of the shadows for a new fable feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Big B. I'm just saying, that's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. So he called my bluff. Mm. It's not like I'm gonna let Bloody Mary just murder him. It was a split-second decision, and I don't care how it looked. I'd make it again and twice on Sunday. Yeah. Oh. Thanks, Snow. All that back there. Yeah. No Keep on a good side. You're not pissed that Crane's flown the coop? Or that the puppet man thinks he's got snow under his thumb? We're all mad about it. You weren't there, Colin. So just drop it. Yeah. Okay, okay. All I care about right now is just what does the crooked man want out of this? I thought he was just a loan shark, but clearly he's operating out of space. 
can't just be about Brain, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. So what did this have to do with Faith and the other? How long has this stuff been going on? This is about those girls. And it'll always be about those girls. Nothing will change them. Yeah. The Crooked Man declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. What does that mean? But, the right way? Okay, why is he still here? I don't know. But it suspiciously sounds Why are you here? Bigby's the one on the front lines. You can't give him a leash. He doesn't work that way. A little restraint and thought behind things will never hurt anyone. Look, I know things haven't gone great recently, but we're still doing our best. That's not good enough. Well, well, okay. So, starting now, we do everything cut and dry. By the book. Straight as an arrow. What? Ribbon snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter. Sure, you're not. <gasps> this town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. We need monsters. The fight. Yeah, jeez. We're under attack, Snow. What did you expect me to do? There are degrees. Degrees? I only ever do what's necessary. Really? Well, if that's the case, please explain to Colin why Terry It was dumb. I can admit it went too far. That's a good first step. Look, Bigby, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting it. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Big B. Don't be such a dick club. But this is the wrong fucking time to put shackles on. Well, at least someone. Yeah. Thanks. He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to. I'm going to let you do it. Okay? It's just that now that I'm deputy mayor, I need your respect. In this situation. What situation? All the unglamoured fables starting today have to go and stay at the... Oh, give me a fucking break. Are you gonna let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Tom. And Bigby knows it's for the best of the town. It keeps everybody out of trouble. And what if a Monday hmm. does see, huh? Everyone just calm down, right? I'm perfectly calm. I'm not. Tell me right now. What's it gonna be, Bigby? Um. Wolf's residence. That's right. Buffkin, what is it? Okay, I'll let him know. Thanks. Guess who's waiting in your office right now? Norissa. Norissa? That broad from the wooden. Uh. Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about, but that she'll only tell you. What do you think that could be? Uh, Bigby's got an admirer. Hmm. You always do well with the, uh, disenfranchised. Something about your prickly demeanor attracts him to come off with a plan. She knows something. She's helping her with the case. Maybe she has something else. Maybe she does. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buckman alone for too long taking calls. And I should probably change out of his clothes. No, that's fine. She's a piece of work. Hey, you're not really going to send me to the farm, are you? I mean, she seemed real serious about it, but I can still hang out here, right? Aww. Mm. I want to stay on everyone's good side, okay? Don't worry. Thanks. Ah, yeah. Friendship. Friendship.
Look at that painting. I have an only throat. I, I don't know what happened there. Uh, well, that's an interesting intro. Oh, hey, it's me. Yeah, so, um, I still have absolutely no idea what's going on now, because now Crane's gone, so we spent three episodes on him, and he's gone now. Hmm. I'll take Good to see Kenny. Oh. These people with you? 